So we've all got them. We call them hot buttons. Things that happen between us that we don't know where the energy came from. Where did that fight come from? Where did that argument come from? What causes hot buttons in a relationship? About two years ago, we got a new espresso machine and it came with some espresso cups. Neither, and nobody in our family at that time drank espresso, so I put the cups into the cupboard for guests. About a year later, I went back, we had guests over, somebody wanted an espresso. I went to the cupboard to find an espresso cup and they were nowhere to be found. I'd thrown them out because <laughs> why did we need these cups? We never used them. <laughs> well, Francine went off the deep end. Where did this come from? Why did throwing out a couple of cups we never use cause such an argument between us? Um, once I calmed down a little bit, and it did take me a little while to calm down, um, I reflected and what came to mind was I guess some formation history for me. My father, um, whom I loved deeply, was always throwing my things out. He was very much about having everything tidy and he would be helping everybody else keep their space tidy by helping them to decide what was important and what wasn't. And so I had a deep wound from that for not feeling that my um, the things that I valued had been valued by my father. And Byron had inadvertently stepped on... I had pushed space. that hot button really hard. Yeah. So we've all got these things. We've got these deep formations that neither of us are aware of. And then one of us pushed those wounds, because these are wounds or hurts mm -hmm. from the past that we carry into our marriage. And one of us pushes them or bumps up against them. We get a sudden reaction that is really disproportionate and surprising. And what it tells us is that we carry lots of things into our marriage from our history, from our family, from our friends, from previous relationships, which form us to who we are, some good, some bad. The ones that have left us wounded cause pain and hold us back from being completely open and welcoming to each other. And so one of the tricks is when you find yourselves having those strong reactions that seem disproportionate, there's something to look at there in yourself and together. So the idea of having these sort of eruptive issues that often repeat over and over again is not that there's a problem with the marriage but rather there's something that we need to go back and look at in ourselves and it's part of the healing journey that the church and God invites us to and calls us to is to be whole as persons and who better to help me be more whole than the person who loves me most so our job in marriage is to love each other particularly where we find hot buttons and that's what God's called us to do because that's part of the healing journey we bring to each other.